Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and we're going to be doing part two of the cage. So I'm really excited to start this part. It's been over three weeks, I think, since we made the original cage and it's been a hard wait because I've just wanted to get it done and for, unfortunately we only have weekends ready to work on it. However, I actually took it under my own stride and tried to make most of the loss section myself and successfully did it, managed it to do it well, I would say. It's very, very sturdy, which is exactly what I want. So I'm just going to show you really the overview and then once it's up, I'll explain it a bit more. This is the paint that I have been using and it's the Cuprinol Sweet Pea and it's one of the garden shades. This is all safe for guinea pigs and small other small animals to chew on and it's also water resistant because it's a garden paint so it's going to be perfect for their cage just in general. But I'm not going to be painting the whole of the cage in this colour. I've done these bridge pots in it and then I've done some decoupage on the top which is just basically PVA glue and then some tissue paper and then PVA glue on top and it just creates a nice little detail on it so I've painted all of the underneath this sweet pea colour and on top it will have the lino and this is the bridge part so this is going to you can see there's like a little lip and this is going to rest on that point of the other one and then the other point over there but those are the main shapes of the lofts up the top and again they've got the decoupage parts as well oh this is all dark so yeah this is the top part of the loft well one side of it sorry about the light changing it's because i'm like backlit by the window there's our view again <laughs> but yeah i'm in the dining room actually at the moment because this is where I've been painting, I didn't build the actual stuff in here but I did that outside on a summery day and then I got burnt so I should have really put some sunscreen on. But yeah this is so the MDF and then we're going to, there's like a little lip if I can focus it, there's like a little lip here you can see and I measured it to be 8 mils because what we're going to do is get some 8 mil MDF board and have it all along the back and then that's going to be like kind of like the back legs and it's going to rest against the back of the cage and give it more support because these are going to be removable these loft parts we're not actually going to make them permanent just in case of i don't know just in case <laughs> but also it's just easier to do them and fix them in so we're going to have that on the back part and then i'm probably going to have a leg on this bit and then a leg just on that corner bit there and then that is where the ramp will come down from that one and the ramp will come down from there. So that's really where we're at and uh, I'll update you as soon as. Hi everyone, I'm back. <laughs> We've got actually our cat Bobo. So his first appearance, he's rarely out really. He's normally asleep somewhere. What are you doing? Bobo? Anyway, I thought I'd show you part the next stage really. Should have really filmed a little bit earlier but I was just so kind of in the zone that I didn't really want to stop. But we've, you can see from where this plank was that we've added the uh, MDF at the back. We've added a little leg there, another leg there and a little MDF leg there just to stabilise it even more. And then that's all MDF, another leg there, and then two legs on that part with the MDF leg. So I painted the back of it a blue because we're going for like a gardeny theme. So I'm going to hand paint some like bushes and grass and stuff. And then we've actually also got, let me show you, these I got from Asda and they are little wall decals and they're just really really adorable now i'm going to put probably some on this part of the cage but also tomorrow when i'm planning to paint all of the cage in the inside and put the pigs in here actually 
I'm going to add these bigger ones because these ones won't really fit for where I want them but um, I'm really really excited the only thing that we've got to wait for now is the perspex because I've got to order the size for the fronts of all of the bits because I had a look at the perspex I used on my old cage like my old 2x6 cage and in the move it's been like really really scratched which I'm really annoyed about so it's basically useless because it just looks awful so I definitely have to buy some more and I kind of did a mini quote and I think it's about five pounds per section so it's not too bad 15 quid in total but I'm gonna do some painting and uh, see how it goes but I might speed build this speed build <laughs> speed speed it up for you but do bear in mind that this is tungsten light and I'm, it's a late night, I'm not actually sure what time it is again, <laughs> I lose track but um, yeah, what I'll do actually, I'll show you the measurements that are for the actual main cage. So it's the next morning and I've finished painting and adding the little decals to these parts. So I'm just going to show you them. I think they look really, really cute. I'm really happy with how they come out. And on the legs here, I've added like little vines going up along with the grass and again on that leg. I'm just super happy with how they've come out. I think they look really cute. And this is the other one. The little bunny on it and we've got lots more decals to add but i'm gonna save those for the other parts of the cage what i'm gonna do now if you can believe it by the state of this room <laughs> i've got to create a temporary pen for the pigs to go in and then i can get them out move around their stuff take the perspex off and then i can paint the inside of it so it's probably gonna take me all day and hopefully they'll be in tomorrow sometime. So here's a little update. I've removed all the wallpaper off. I'm gonna to have to get the sander and get down the bits that had the glue on. And this one especially had a lot more glue on it. And you can see where I started painting the white on it. But the loft fits perfectly. So glad my measurements are okay. The bridge hooks over really nicely as well on either side and the painted little things look so cute so I really can't wait until I manage to paint it all and all the cutouts fit perfectly I got the right edges and stuff I'm so so excited to get it done I've got the perspex off the front because I also want to decoupage like with this floral on the front underneath the perspex because I prefer the way it looks and then yeah I'm just really really excited I'm so thrilled with how it's all looking. I am exhausted. <laughs> I've got the majority done. The only thing I haven't finished on what we could so far is to put the long bit of perspex up. We might just be able to spot it on the bottom there. But it's just because I need two people really to um one for to hold them and one to screw. So I'm going to be airing it out a little bit longer I mean on the majority it is dry like it is like dry to the touch and it's just the airing of the smells and we've got thunder here at the moment so it's raining you probably can hear that but so hopefully it doesn't affect the drying of it probably might take it longer but I will probably then show you in detail about the painting because I can't I'm just too tired to do it right now so we're back and as you can see the piggies are in it if you can spot them <laughs> it's gonna be a bit difficult I think that the easiest to spot are Finley and Clara here on the right it is an Arabella just there and Daphne's in the hay tunnel right at the back but they are loving it I mean there's not really much change for them to be honest other than the fact that it's like more cozy down the sides so the next update is the ramp. I managed to cut them out and I've done them 65 centimetres long by 15 centimetres wide and that's for both of them. And 
I mean, you can see that I've kind of gone ahead with the progress. I didn't really stop to film or anything, but I just thought it was more self-explanatory this part anyway. So I painted the whole pine board. It is untreated pine. Obviously, I've painted it with some Cuprinol paint, and this is in the Sweet Pea colour. And so I painted it, and I'd probably, I think I did about two coats at most on these. Then I've got some little hooks. <laughs> to go on the ends of both of them. They both have that so that when I fix them, which means that they'll be removable, there's gonna be a little eye screwed into the top of the loft part. So these are just gonna literally like hook on and all be stable and everything. And I can just take them off when I need to clean. So what I've done, I've used lollipop sticks actually and put, stuck them on. But what I did first was I actually painted them individually so I painted them with a white cuprinol paint and then I also did the vine kind of detail on it kind of to match um, a hay feeder that I've been painting recently so I wanted it to kind of really go in the same theme so I'm back for the last part of the second DIY part <laughs> that makes a lot of sense so we've now got the lofts in and you saw them last painted and I think they were just about in but they didn't have the perspex on the front and they didn't have the lino on the bottom and the ramps weren't covered so I've covered those with some fluffy socks just because it gives them extra grip and they weren't really using the ramps when it was just the plain wood so I've just put fluffy socks on there which I just take off every cage where it really when it needs it to be honest and then wash it so the perspex is now on and you can see that it is on really. We've got a popcorn in Arabella. We've got some little guinea pig weekly stickers just there and one on the other side. So we've had this loft in for a good few weeks now because since I decided it all, there's been a lot going on and uh, I've just not had time to really get the final bits. But also I wanted, because we've got a split cage that I wanted to have perspex in the middle but I've actually decided not to do that I've decided just to have these grids so I've got two CNC grids that's the width and then one at the back just to stabilize it so it's nice and stable I mean we've got the hay box on that side so I thought it was good to not waste more money on getting perspex and having to cut it and this is more of like a temporary thing so if I ever decided to change the cage for whatever reason that it would be easy to remove. So it's also easy to remove for cleaning because it's not actually properly fixed and it's just kind of resting and using things around it to stabilize it. But there we go. And then on this side, we've got the loft again and with the little ramp going down the front. And I've also got this extra bit of perspex, like I said, we need to secure this a bit better. Again, every, a lot has been going on at the moment. So it's not perfect. So I will eventually get around to doing that, but for the moment it's like that. And I've got these little like trim on it, which helps to make sure that the pigs don't, you know, scratch themselves on the way up or down. But that's that really. So those are the cages, part two. The last part three will be when we have covered doors. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so for everything at the moment, is as I want it for them. It's just really the storage for me is, you know, I want to get that obviously so you can't see it. But that's it really. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you do make any cages similar to this, I would love to see pictures. So do tag me on Instagram or my Facebook page. And yeah, I would really love to see them. So thank you very much for watching and I shall speak to my next one. Bye everyone.